So when you uh, came in here and you, you decided to settle into this area of, uh, of construction material and do research on that, you just like you mentioned earlier, you need a lot of people to uh, work with you. Right. How do you find people like that? Uh, I think primarily in civil engineering, uh, a lot of students who graduate from uh, their bachelor's programs are interested in structural design. Okay. And that's what uh, attracts them to civil engineering uh, as far as postgraduate studies are concerned. But uh, we had to wait a while before people started realizing that there's sufficient uh, research and construction materials that's also getting done. And uh, once that word spread out, uh, we've been getting a steady stream of students. And is it uh, paying? I mean, that's one reason why people enter any field. I mean, uh, they're well paid. C certainly. And actually, if you look at most construction projects in India, the uh, level of information on construction materials is probably limited. Although people are use, using uh, very high quality design techniques and design guidelines are really up to the uh, international the standards. Okay. Uh, there's a still a major uh, uh, level of uh, understanding that needs to be developed as far as materials is concerned. People have been taking materials for granted, especially concrete. Mm. Uh, or people think that it's just something uh, it's that you one put together. term catch all for everything that's got cement in it. <laughs> yeah. concrete probably yeah that's right <coughs> but there's more to it there is a lot more to it than people actually uh, understand uh, in day to day practice in the field and that's one reason why people have not been able to get structures to last for a very long time because they've not been doing the right kind of concrete construction yeah well, I was just going to come to that um, yeah. every every now and then we hear shocking bits of buildings just collapsing mm -hmm. in, on themselves crushing so many people right. Mumbai is uh, known for Correct. crushing people on a regular basis yeah. what is that why, is, why, why did something like that happen is this, surely we know what to do well uh, I think most of it has to do with the uh, technology not being practiced correctly. I think uh, a lot of times we do have the know-how, but we simply cut corners, especially when it comes to quality of the construction materials. There's a lot of corners that so are cut. It's profit that drives it's them. It's profit. Uh, it's, it's the motive of getting things done very fast. Or would also be ignorance. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and government authorities, how much are they involved with in your area? Do you, do you also educate them? Uh, we interact a lot with uh, government agencies, uh, particularly the Central P Public Works Department and we also interact with some other research agencies from the government and uh, we also ensure that we uh, disseminate information from time to time using workshops and seminars so that people are up to date with whatever research is happening. So like uh, in, in Tamil Nadu, for example, right here, uh, yeah. do we have any really outstanding colleges where you are drawing better people from? Some um, institution better than others. I, I don't mind if you say a word like <laughs> VIT is better than TIT or BIT. I don't care what it is. But are there any, you see any outstanding work happening in uh, colleges from Tamil Nadu? Certainly. There's a lot of colleges which are actually very good. Yeah. Uh, and research are, going uh, on even at uh, undergrad level. Certainly. There's there's a lot of research going on. Of course, the problem is the students won't, don't get the, uh, uh, the infrastructure to do high quality work, but they do have the drive and enthusiasm to do work on and topics. And what about funding? Do colleges put out money? Uh, some do. Some do. But it's still not as much as it ought to be in many of these So, colleges. ideally speaking, uh, what kind of money should a college set aside for putting into students for them to utilize it, you know, like you need to buy steel, you need to buy this, that, experiment. Correct. So, do they have funding for it? Do you think they, on a per head basis, is there any guidelines at all? I am not aware of any guidelines, uh, but with the kind of uh, money that colleges have these days, I am sure that funding uh, research projects on concrete or some similar construction materials is not going to be a big deal for... Uh, and for we always hear about uh, IIT being uh, like a, a place that generates uh, brains and technology and techniques, whatever, for industry. So eventually it has to all pay off exactly. in money terms. Yeah. So do you have private industry coming up and working with you? Certainly. Uh, we have industrial support also for our projects. And in a lot of cases, industry seeks uh, answers to immediate problems. Uh, so we are okay. also increasingly getting industrial uh, 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 partnership in projects which are probably longer term where okay. there is real imp uh, impact on the actual research that can be done in this area. Uh, for the for the most part, industry wants answers very quickly. Mm. But then there are a lot of industrial partners who are uh, interested in long promoting long term research. And that's probably one of the most positive developments in the last five years. Uh, so it's not just the government which is funding, okay. but we also get some funding from the So industry. they're looking for um, results and they look at from, I mean, try to source it from wherever they can find, including Correct. colleges and stuff. Correct. How about government? Is uh, government authorities who are so critical into this entire thing, mm -hmm. you can research all you want, but if nobody applies it, 
Exactly. Uh, you know, so do you have any uh, courses where the government officers also come in? Certainly. Uh, most of our workshops and seminars that we organize, uh, we do have sufficient amount of government participation also. And they but, come and they ask you intelligent questions? Yeah, certainly they do. Uh, only what happens sometimes is the people who attend are the executing people, the actual engineers, okay. the decision making people yeah, that is so are important. the ones who are missing in many of these uh, workshops and You seminars. should probably tell them, you know, that listen, all you guys go home, <laughs> send your bosses back here. Exactly. exactly. That's what you should need to do. Exactly. And uh, you're also now uh, applying uh, whatever you're researching because I heard that there is something that uh, there is built inside the IIT c- yes. campus. And yes. So, you know, we just heard that they they've actually built a sample of something they want to do, like approving uh, structure. So when we come back to the third part, I'll ask uh, Professor Santanam how and why, uh, or not how and why, has that gone anywhere that whatever they built?